It was very shocking and very surprising. Jason Eckerberger is still in disbelief over what happened on a downtown Portland sidewalk in late January. You may not believe it either, had security cameras not captured it. The 56-year-old was standing outside the embassy suites talking to the valet when a man approached from across the street. The hooded man knocked out Eckerberger, then punched the valet who came to his defense. I thought maybe something on the building had hit me or somebody's car had hit me. I had no idea that someone had punched me. Eckerberger, who fractured his knee in the fall to the pavement, says he doesn't know the man who attacked him, adding that what you see in the video was totally unprovoked. He's listening to his music. He's either smoking a cigarette or he's got something he put in his hand to pack his punch and was totally casual about the whole thing. I don't, wouldn't even say that, that happens every day, um, but certainly uh, when it does happen, it's, certain, it's very concerning. According to a spokesperson for the Portland Police Bureau, Central Precinct's neighborhood response team is chasing down leads in the case, but assistance from the public would be very much appreciated. We certainly hope that, um, that through coverage from uh, your stories and uh, just from investigation, we can determine who's responsible for that and get them arrested and get them referred to charges. This is not his first rodeo. Jason Eckeberger is hoping the attacker is captured sooner rather than later. He fears what happened to him and the valet will happen again. We need to get this guy. He's going to do it to someone else. He was way too casual with this thing. It was like not a big thing to him. Yeah, it clearly did not look like a big deal to that attacker who we're not getting a crystal clear look at in that video. He appeared to be wearing a gray and either blue or denim jacket with a hood and some dark pants to go along with it. If you recognize this guy or know anything about this case, you're urged to pick up the phone and call the Portland Police Bureau. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.